so, what are you doing? It's 12.15, 12.16. It's hot as hell. And there's... It looks okay out. It might not rain, but, you know, it's South Florida, so it probably will. A little bit, anyway. Um, I kind of feel guilty for not taking you guys out on a morning ride with me, because I went, but didn't, didn't video. So, uh, let's go check it out. Let's see what's going on. I went, I went out this morning and when, when I woke up, it was just one of those days that, that I didn't feel like talking. I just didn't feel like it. I'm sure you have those. Anyway, I do. And, uh, so I, I went out this morning without, without my camera. But, having said that, I was really into my ride um, and into uh, just really riding this thing, really pushing it to the max, you know, um, doing the little tricks here and there and stuff, you know jumping off curves and stuff but it was just it was a really fun ride because I was just kind of letting loose like that and I don't do that real often but it's fun when I do so hey good morning man good, good. wanted to talk to me but I wanted to talk to you guys about this thing so I didn't want to talk to him usually I do I stop and talk to people but so anyway let's see which way which way which way which way Maybe to the right, down a Rosso to the right. So what I thought I'd do is I thought I'd make a video where I kind of make it up to you because I had so much fun this morning without you. I felt a little guilty. <laughs> so we'll, we'll go today and get a little bit a little bit crazier than we normally do just because just because I feel bad <laughs> Dude, that's fun I was up on two wheels One of uh, one of the things that I had planned on talking about this more on this morning's ride that I miss was uh, was camera position and um, what I'm planning 
because when I, I've, I've watched uh, so many videos, I can't even count on so many different types of vehicles, I, I, I can't even count. <laughs> um, but uh, I've, I've come up with a few different views that, that I enjoy looking at. That doesn't mean everybody else does, that's for sure. But it's the ones that, that you know, are my favorite. So um, in the next, uh, within the next month, I'm going to say, we're going to have a new, kind of a new look on the... Uh, on the uh, for for what you're viewing, I hope to to have a new look for what you know your your views will be a little different hopefully. And of course, that all depends on you know how fast I learn the, the new equipment. Oh, this guy's checking this thing out. <laughs> I love it when they they come beside me and and uh, kind of slow down but right behind my field of view, what they think is my field of view. So that maybe I don't know that they're looking at me, but I see them. But it's okay. I like that they're seeing me. driveway for me but I managed to go on the secondary little driveway <laughs> because this thing can go anywhere now I thought of on this ride in particular um, <clears throat> to go the next gear up to take it up to 20 from between 7 and 18, but I, I didn't think that you would like it that fast, I don't know. If you, if you think you would, let me know, and I'll kick it up a little bit. That's no big deal. I just, for, for me... I really enjoy this speed between 17 and 18 miles an hour on a sidewalk. I like that. I really, I, I'm totally in control. I'm, uh, I, I can brake fast enough. I can avoid obstacles quickly. I'm, I'm good. Hey there. But I could pump it up another gear, you know, another bicycle gear, and uh, go faster, and it, it would be more exciting for me, and uh, it might be more exciting for you, I don't know. If you think so, let me know. The only, the only downside of that, before I get the new motor and the new batteries installed, um, is time frame. It, it, it won't last as long, nearly as long the the ride won't and that's a real big downside for me because i love my hour-long rides i love them and i think even going to 45 minutes would would really suck so i don't think i want to go much much less than 
or much, much faster than I already am. But I, I, I don't, you know, once I get the, uh, new batteries and the uh, new motor installed um, I'll probably my norm will probably be uh, quite a bit above that anyway I'm, I'm guessing uh, so uh, what I'm saying is you won't have much of a choice at that point <laughs> because that'll be kind of my new norm even though I can't, I mean, at this point, I can't really imagine uh, going much faster on that uh, on on here. Much faster than, you know, say, hmm, let's see, maybe 22. I think that would be that would be uh, flying by the seat of your pants, kind of. Fun time, you know, like, uh, you know, maybe once a week or twice a week I do something like that because it's just, you know, just because like, like this morning I was just really pumped and I, and I just, I didn't know it before I didn't take the camera out with me. And then I, it was too late. Once I figured out, I was going to just rip. And, uh, yeah. Anyway, I forgot what I was, I was talking about. It's probably just rambling anyway. Watch out, birdies. Rosso and Prima Vista. I think I'll take you guys down by uh, Sportsman's Park and uh, by the uh, Church of the Big Lady. We'll check her out because that's always fun. And it'll probably give me points with Jen, you know? And that's always a good thing. I need all the extra points I can get. All right, we're about ready to go. Flex up on two wheels, back down, and across this one, which takes a little skill not to get squished. All right, no squishage. All right, let's see, assess. Uh, a little bit, a little light on people having fun over there, but we'll see. We'll check it out. Across the street. 
flight's usually pretty quick. Yep, there it is. Up over here, uh, the basketball courts and everybody stares. And then dives the trash can. And then back down. Fly by the people that are sitting over here. They'll be amazed. Not look like it. Well, one guy out here taking a nap. Check it out. There he is. Just came out to the track to take a nap with a big ass bottle of water. so fast. So I don't scare any little kids. I don't want to do that. That is not my goal. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Motorized, huh? Yeah. That's pretty cool. It's electric. What are you doing, bud? You having fun? Cool.
That little kid just threw away that bat like a pro. He was stepping up to, to the plate and threw that the extra bat away just like a pro. <laughs> He's like two feet tall. Let's get out of here. Hey there. All right, where were we? What were we doing? Oh, we were going past here. Oh, and we forgot about the church with the big lady. <laughs> and I was talking about getting points. <laughs> ah. Go. Oh, um, camera angle. So, yeah, that was a lapse. Um, so my vision for this channel, before I really understood um, 360 cameras, and I don't still really understand them fully. I just kind of understand them. Um, what I viewed, what I thought, my, my view was having the view that you have right now and in the upper right hand corner have my face. So you could see where my head's turning to look and, and you know, uh, my facial expressions and stuff like that. Well, somewhat behind my glasses. <clears throat> but I thought it would make it much more interesting for you because um, I really enjoy when I can actually see what the person looks like and what the person, um, you know, how, you know, what expressions the person has and stuff like that. It really makes it 
you know, I really think that's good. So that I've, that's something that that I'll be I'll be adding. I'll be adding another uh, another camera. Um, I have them. I just I haven't haven't used them because of my um, wireless mic situation. Because I just for some unknown reason I can't get my mind around using the wireless mic correctly. I have one that has two mics that you can go and and you can um, you know I can go out with my son and he'll have a mic and I'll have a mic and it'll be on you know it'll be on the the recording. So you know it's not like you you can only hear one-sided conversations. So it'll be nice and that's why I bought it for that in particular. Um, but I can use it obviously to um, enhance the audio when I'm doing a regular vlog. Hey buddy, how are you? Because that's what everybody does and that's why everybody's is better than mine. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, I'm going to get a new camera that accepts my wireless mic and that I can put on a 360 camera. So what I'll have is I'll have one pointing at me that I won't use the audio for and one that I will have like this right now that I will use the audio for and that will give you a picture in picture of my face while watching me ride. And then I'll have the wireless mic hooked up to a 360 camera in one of two positions, either up in front of me over my head, which I think is probably what I'm going to end up doing, or uh, kind of in back of me, behind, uh, up and behind my head, kind of trailing the quad. And I haven't decided which one yet, but I'm, I'm leaning towards the, the front one. But just because you, you'll be able to spin it around and do whatever you want. So what I'll do is I'll actually create two videos at the same time, a 360 video and a regular video. And you'll be able to pick and choose whichever one you want. Now the 360 videos take a lot more memory to process and a lot more time to process, so they won't be, there won't be as many as the regular videos. But I thought it would be fun to, to give you those as well. Because I enjoy uh, those every once in a while to be able to see absolutely everything that the, the driver or rider um, sees. It's pretty cool. Alright, my turn. Other things that you may wonder you know like do I do I ever acknowledge anyone that that um, allows me to go first yes of course I always do I throw them a peace sign or something I wave or, or give them a nod or say thank you you know or you know some of the above <laughs> I always do but you probably can't see that at all I don't think you can not most of the time anyway but on a 360 camera you'd be able to uh, or a 360 view you'd be able to see you'd be able to see that because you can see so so much more of what's going on yeah it's distorted a little bit but you can really see you know what's going on which is cool um, what are we going to do we can wait for you it's okay get 
lucky here. Nope. Right. I'm getting pretty good at uh, kind of judging <laughs> what these people are planning to do. I still err on the side of caution uh, most of the time. But, uh, God, I forgot what I was talking about. Air on the side of caution for something. my camera spray. I think I finished my cam camera support. So that's coming up. You'll be able to see um, a couple different views than, than you do right now. Um, ones that I really, really enjoy watching people. Um, the views that I enjoy watching. So hopefully you'll enjoy those too. And you can tell me because you have started to comment and tell me stuff. So that's cool. Oh, <laughs> I just thought of something because I, I, I don't think I said something about this. There was a, there was a comment that uh, said that you liked um, the uh, image stabilization <laughs> on, the, on the camera. And you know what? I agree. I think especially just, just nowadays, I sound old, but whatever, nowadays... It's amazing what these things can do. But, uh, you know, there's another reason why the, the camera, the image stabilization is good, because it's resting on my fat belly. <laughs> Maybe it's just kind of jiggling it a little bit. <laughs> so it reduces it. I don't know. <laughs> I just thought that was funny. <laughs> Uh, because it totally is. That's why when I sit at a, a sit, when I sit at a light, you can see it moving up and down because that's my heartbeat. <laughs> because it's on my belly. Well, it's chest mount, but it's on my diaphragm when I'm sitting down. Or my bread box. You know what I mean. That was one of those scooters that I just passed that they uh, they use out in LA for uh, food delivery. guy that goes by the name of Wilser um, talks about everything food delivery <laughs> he's a cool kid he works his butt off he rides one of those things and there's there's a few of them that ride those little gas uh, moped kind of things or I should say scooter they don't I don't think they have pedals But uh, they're so popular that they're starting to get popular for people to steal. Oh, look at this guy. He's not entitled. <laughs> I'm going to park here. <laughs> All right. I'll go way around him. two-wheeler. Oh, yeah. 
That'll, I, I think that'll be something you'll be able to see too when, uh, when I have the 360 installed. Because, um, because it'll be kind of a bird's eye view of what I'm doing. Kind of in front of me or behind me, one of the two. So you'll be able to see when I, you know, jump a little curb or when I go up on two wheels, whether it's on purpose or not. <laughs> but anyway, I think I think that'll be cool. I think you guys will like it. I certainly do. And you'll you'll be able to, um, I think learn a little bit better of kind of why I do stuff because you'll be be able to see what I'm looking at much better you know see if the car was coming or wasn't coming and with without the multi views you may think oh my god look at this guy he just runs stop signs and he just runs stop lights and just you know and uh and yes, I may do that, but you don't know the circumstances. You know, you don't know everything outside of this little field of, field of view. So giving you a larger field of view will at least, you know, give you the option of seeing what I'm seeing, whether, you know, I'm doing the right thing or not, you know? Of course, that may, <laughs> that may open up uh, a can of worms for, uh, for me though right? <laughs> you will see what I'm seeing and why I do what I'm doing. That might be a problem. <laughs> Dean, um, why the hell did you come three inches away from that car? Dean, why did you scrape that car? Why did you run away from him when he was calling you? <laughs> Just kidding. in Winn-Dixie parking lot. Tires now. My tires are bald. Need to get some new ones. Yep. Hey, buddy. He had an, an electric little, uh, some kind of little vehicle. like he was delivering mail. Like he looked like it was a miniature Segway. All right, let's see if we can get through here without any squishage. Pretty good. All right. Not dying today, baby. All right, this is where I can get a little bit more speed because the time in between 
roads is much further and far between so I can get it up past 20 and not have that big of a deal. Problem is, if I do that too often too much, I might have a cop looking at me because I really shouldn't be doing much over 20 on the sidewalk because that's kind of quick. All right, here is Death Corner. Death Corner, ladies and gentlemen. All right, no death. Uh, favorite Mexican restaurant? Right here. And a Winn-Dixie shopping center. All right, gonna flip the batteries. Left's off, right's on. There's an electric skateboard. All right. Pepe is juiced. Let's roll. Feel it. Oh man. <laughs> uh, night and day. fun but we got to make sure we don't get killed because it's very dangerous as well very dangerous so I've got my head on a swivel as they say Boulevard, just trying not to hit any glass. That would be helpful. Let this car go by.
Oh, I was I was wondering why there's nobody in this parking lot. Because it's Saturday. That's why. Alright. So that little detour was for This is the death sidewalk because they don't look when they're when they're going. They don't look this way at all. So I always just stop for them. <laughs> now I forgot what the heck I was saying. Of course. Oh, that little detour was to get around glass, broken glass. Because there's a bunch of broken glass. I'm sure I, I uh, one of my um, last flats was because of that glass. It's interesting when you can see just random little pieces of cars <laughs> on the side of the road, on the on the sidewalk. Just pieces of people's cars falling off and going to the side. <laughs> Is that a problem? I guess eventually. I guess it's not like me having something fall off my quad. That would probably be a, a problem for me sooner than later. That's a cool little car. Maybe? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh yeah. kind of stop here but I'm not going to because there's a crew down here hey bud so because I just wanted to give you more time because I felt guilty this morning about not including you in my fun ride so I'm just going a little bit longer than I have been lately. And it definitely is much more fun, isn't it? I bet it doesn't even look like anything different to you. You're like, yeah, what, Dean? What are you talking about? But that's kind of what I'm talking about. You'll be able to maybe get a little bit more, <laughs> a little bit more insight into these rides that I take you on. And maybe it'll be a little bit more fun for you. I hope so. That's what I mean them to be, just fun. Just like I'm having. <laughs> I 
next step. You don't have to worry about the nasty, stinky water flying up on you. <laughs> That's a bonus. <laughs> always here but I think they're respectful because they put their bumpers pretty much touching so they're at least trying to give people enough room they just have too many cars that's all life happens you know Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm good. Hi, babies! Okay, I'm good to cross. So I will. That's a fun one at high speed. That's fun. It's probably really fun for those people that are watching me in the intersection <laughs> fly by them all of a sudden. It's probably like, oh, what was that? Well, no, I don't think I'm going that fast. But I think they probably are going, whoa, look at that. At least. Yeah, yeah, I think that's what the look I get is them going, what the hell? Oh, big obstacle. <laughs> These are my tire tracks. <laughs> uh, they might get pissed off about that, but, you know, what am I going to do? Go out in the road? I don't think so. Not if I don't have to, baby. Oh, wow. I don't even know if that, that, is, that was this ride. I, I just, something just popped into my head about... Because I was talking about my how fast I'm going to be going with my new motor and my new, new batteries. And I was talking about how it's going to feel and how it's going to be much different than, it is, than this is to me right now. And wondering about how that's going to be and stuff like that. And I just kind of stopped it and didn't, didn't say anything else. And the cool thing about my new setup will be up it's totally customizable totally i mean every single thing about it there there's so many par parameters that you can uh, adjust and screw up but oh man i'm looking forward to that i'm looking forward to testing it and seeing um seeing what the perfect setup for me will be you know how how much throttle i like how much pedal assist I like because it's, it's torque sensing pedal assist so and this is cadence sensing so it's completely different 
but the cool thing is I can I can go between the two or I will be able to go between the two I'll be able to flip from this motor over to the other motor or just have this motor going or just have the other motor going whatever I desire all right now we're gonna go to the right down Crosstown Parkway because we're gonna go to Alley Park first and then pass that to the under the bridge not really a dog park park I showed you that the other day and said that I don't usually go there. And I don't think I do. Unless I'm just totally forgetting it. And that might be. Because <laughs> I forget a great number of things nowadays. I guess, uh, I guess you could say it's sad. But uh, if I don't remember it, I can't really be sad about it, can I? noticed a couple of squeaks because uh, I did my I did my uh, grease my back two wheels and then the following week I greased my front two wheels and then I started hearing my chains one or all of my chains I have three chains um, giving me a little squeak squeak so I need to lube them up too I use uh, wax lube um, I have a, I, I think I have two or three different kinds of wax lube, um, or lube. One of them's wax and one of them isn't, I think. Anyway, I, of course, checked into, you know, all the different kinds of chain lubes there possibly is, and why exactly people like each one. <laughs> and for what, and when. <laughs> so I ended up with the two that I have. I'll, uh, I'll go ahead and uh, when I get up and running, you know, if I get a computer and stuff, we'll do. Uh, I'll get proficient on editing so I'll be able to do those links that people say you know I'm talking about this and that and the other thing I'll give you a link down in the description well I have no idea how to do that right now but I will have to be because I'm sure you're you're interested in certain things and if I hit on one of those things it might be a benefit for you So you can see on some of my early, early, <laughs> some of my early uh, videos, my really, really bad videos that uh, have the multi-view part of, you know, my face and then the, rest of the other view, um, uh, POV or somewhat of a POV. I, I just couldn't figure it out. It drove me nuts. But um, that's close to what I want. What, what really... Uh, is exactly what I'm looking for with the, the two camera angles is uh, a guy called Rusty Rhodes well a guy called a, a channel called Rusty Rhodes the dog's name is Rusty um, and it's uh, he, he rides an aerial rider uh, e-bike and uh, he has a, a backpack on his chest for his little doggy Rusty I think he's a little Yorkie. 
uh, something like that. He's a cool little dog. In either case, Rusty just sits on his chest, looking out, and enjoying the ride with his tongue hanging out. And uh, there's a picture of, uh, uh, the big picture is POV, and the picture in the little upper right hand corner is of Rusty just enjoying his ride. So I thought that would be, a, that's my favorite one, and I, I thought that would be a cool way for you to see what's going on with me. So, there you go. I'm starting to kind of talk it now, aren't I? <laughs> Wonder why. Mindy might know. All right, coming up on Alley Park. Got a couple of right-hand turners, so I'm gonna let them go when the light goes green, and then I'll go. All right, there they go. Let this light turn green, there we go. on your left. Have a good one, bud. He was nice. He said you too. He didn't even have headphones yet. That's weird. It's nice though. <laughs> it's nice to be shouted back at every once in a while. <laughs> All right. And here is the end of the bridge. Not really a dog park park. There's a little kid over there. Let's see. Yeah, this is the little pier. This is nice. Nice little river, swamp, river, swamp, alley pond. And here's the little kid with mommy and daddy cruising. Look at how cute. How you guys doing? Good. Hey, what are you doing? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks. I love it too. I really do. It got me out of the out of the house, out of the bed. So it's good. That's for sure. <laughs> I'll see you guys. Bye. You too.
see, now that was a totally a, a, a missed opportunity for me to get a subscriber. There was a built-in subscriber right there. Yep. And my dumbass just let him slip out my fingers. I found when I when I um, talk to some. I'm sure it's just because it's brand new. But when I when I talk to somebody about my channel kind of off the cuff like that it's it's hard for them to understand the channel name because it's bent and ribbon not and so they're like eh, eh, and that's my fault because I didn't think about that but hey bud hey how's it going What I was thinking about doing because of that is having cards made so I can just put them right here to the right of me. Um, I have a little, little, uh, it's kind of like a cigarette case, I guess, where I attach my glasses and I put my wallet and um, I have just a couple little things in. And, uh, So I could put some cards in there and just whip whip one out and give it to somebody and say, hey, check it, check this out. And that way it'll say, please subscribe and like and comment and blah, 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 all that stuff that I would like to say, but don't because I, I get tongue tied. You know? It's like I just do, and it's probably because it's brand new. I'm guessing, because I'm pretty comfortable talking around people. It's just hard to get all the, the important things out at once. You know, you really want to because you really want this this thing to grow and all that stuff. And, and uh, you know, you just it's if you're not used to doing it all the time, you don't you can't you don't always get it all out. And that is kind of frustrating. So if I had a little card that I could go here, check it out. And hey, if they threw it out, fine. You know, somebody else might pick it up and look at it. Who knows? doesn't matter to me. The, the thing that does matter is, you know, out of however many of those cards I, I print up, you know, that's just new subscribers right there. So that's what I'm looking at. Because that will be fun for me to be able to wake up every day and have a bunch of people to respond to. That'll be so much fun. All right, you guys, I think that's about it for me. I'm gonna drop you here. I've got a little bit more battery life. I can rip around by myself a little bit and then I'll, I'll, I'll go home. Maybe have one more ride today. Maybe about six or so. Anyway.